urban planners, landscape architects, interior designers, and green consultants. All are working to imagine and create a world based on sustainability and respect for the planet. My name is Casey Visenton. I work with HOK. Uh, which is a large architecture and design firm uh, in San Francisco. We, when you talk about green architecture, you're actually trying to make buildings which have a, a huge impact on the environment um, more sustainable. So they function better, um, they provide better indoor quality of space for the occupants, um, they're better for the community, and so it's there's lots of ways to do that. There's tools that you can use to analyze buildings and make them more green. It's huge and it's growing every day. Um, we find now that most of our clients request um, green architecture or a green building. Green design can help reduce energy costs and also save the planet as well. The built environment accounts for a huge portion of our carbon emissions. It accounts for a huge portion of our energy use uh, and our waste stream. And so designing these spaces uh, to be green has a huge impact on the bigger picture uh, of global environmental sustainability. I, I guess one of the biggest benefits of, of being an architect is seeing a building built that you've helped shape that touches the lives of other people. It, it's a great profession to positively impact the lives of other people. When we talk about green architecture, we're talking about a bunch of different things. It's sustainable sites, whether you're using a, a site that's already had a building on it, so you, or you're adaptively reusing an existing building. Uh, there's water, water efficiency, which has to do with how much storm water you're taking away from the, the storm water receptacle and reusing in the building. You have energy, which is a huge portion, the biggest portion, um, and the biggest area that you can actually influence a building on, which has to do with how efficient your building skin is, uh, how efficient your heating and cooling systems are, uh, if you're using photovoltaics, if you're using on-site renewable energy. Materials is another one. Are you using high recycled content in the materials you're using in the building? Um, how are you handling recycling programs within the building and waste generation? And the final one is, in, is uh, environmental quality, which is uh, does everyone have access to daylight? Does everyone have access to a view? And these are all different things that, that go into green design for green buildings.